Hello YouTube and welcome back to another NHL 24 video. Unfortunately, we still have to make NHL 24 videos because the first NHL 25 gameplay deep dive will be tomorrow and I will also break that down. So if you want to see that, make sure you like and subscribe. But today we need to come up with content. And unfortunately, the only content currently in the game we have are packs because EA didn't release any content. Uh, don't think we're gonna see any content. Maybe something on Friday, but who knows? At the moment, we still have elite packs for three hours. We have these multi league packs and that's pretty much it. Like there's really nothing left to do in this game but i still have 1 million coins so we need to spend them so today i will open another 20 elite packs with a whole pool my first 99 in nhl 24 we cannot end this year without a single 99 pool and if you're watching my videos and if you're watching the pack opening videos you can see that i probably have the worst pack luck ever but we will keep trying until we get one so i have 1.1 million coins and these packs cost me 25k again this is pretty much the only pack you currently can open and there is nothing else to do in the game so Let's just keep opening them and hope that we can pull something good. I will send every single purple pool to my trade pile and we will see how many we will actually end up with. Probably five, because the bucks are... Ooh, look at me, 86 overall. Come on, we stink. No, these bucks stink. Okay, another one. Oh, really? Eh? I know the game is dead. I really don't disagree that the game is dead and there is nothing to do in the game. But giving me 86 overall cards. But we have 19 packs more to go, so hopefully we pull something good. I cannot really wait for a gameplay deep dive tomorrow because I will be able to talk so much about the gameplay and I cannot wait to actually share some of the insights with you because I'm really happy. I'm really, really happy about the gameplay this year and... I hope you will be happy as well. Okay, we get a power-up icon. Do we have anything else? Probably not, because they gave me a power-up icon. And that's it. And of course, we have this super team Latvia home jersey. If you wear this jersey, you become invisible. So, who it is? Yeah. Actually, not the bad one. I actually think one of the best power-up icons we currently have in the game. But unfortunately, that's not what we need. Anyway, keep opening. Keep opening, Dino. Bang! Look at me, getting some big pulls. Seriously, these packs are worse than anything else I've ever opened before. Power up collectible, that's all you're giving me? Okay, no, still 56%, so where are my purples? Come on, EA. I think I opened, what, three packs so far? We get one power up icon and two purples. Damn, this is, like, awesome. Oh my god. Like, what the hell is this? Like, the game is dead, I get it. I don't care even if I will pull a 99. At this point, it's just like, I want to pull a 99 and call it a day. I want to put this game in a box, put it, like, really deep in a shelf and never touch it again. But I cannot do that until we pull that 199. So, EA, let's have a deal. You give me a 99 and I delete the game and I never play it again. Okay, maybe I'm lying. I still have to play the game for a few weeks, but... Unbelievable. Ouch! This is painful. Look at me, pulling nothing, basically nothing. I have to get some like decent purples in this one. Please? If this pack also will not have a purple, I'll be fuming, come on. Okay, another 86, let's go. This game is awful. <laughs> EA, come on, give me an NHL 25 at this point already. I just cannot play this game any longer, but that's fine. We have a zero overall team as well, and uh, maybe we get some cards to put in the team. At this point, it looks like we are not getting anything. Ouch. Like, what on earth is this? Seriously, guys, did you ever seen worse pack luck than mine? If you did, please let me know down in the comment sections below who have worse pack luck than me, because I don't believe that there is a single person out there with worse luck than me. But that's fine. You know, the coins are pointless at this point. Everything is pointless. There's nothing to play in the game. I will still play my champs and uh, probably a little bit of rivals as well. Again, I don't really play rivals at this point. So 20 champs games is the maximum I can, like, pull out of me. And hopefully we get more wins at this point with these cards doesn't look very promising but we spend 20k and we get 5k back so at least something i don't know how many packs i'm in already i just want to pull like 99 at this point i would like to pull even an 87 oh my god there is nothing even to send to trade pile okay i'll send the logo maybe wow i don't know what to say guys i really don't because I saw some bad packs. I really did. But I did nerf the packs. 
I'm telling you, like previously I was opening these packs and they were giving me purples left and right. And now with a 50% of purple chance, this is my like, I don't even know how many packs did I open without a single purple. Those odds are wrong. I'm telling you 56%. I don't believe you. It cannot be 56% if you're not giving me anything. Like what the hell? If this pack also don't have a purple, I think it's a sign that they did increase the packs because that's the only content they decided to give us and they nerfed the odds. Yep. That's pretty much straightforward, they nerfed the odds. But we will keep trying. What the hell is this? Like these animations. I think also EA gave up on the game already. And I don't blame them. Okay, that's not a 99, but that's the closest I was to a 99. And also it's a ranger. So I will take that. Bill Cooley, let's go. He will be a good fit in my rangers team. Damn. I'm wondering like, is he go for like at least 15k? Is this pack giving me something? 98 is good. I'm not complaining. But previously when I was opening these packs, I was getting purple pretty much in every single pack. And now we are getting nothing. If that 98 was worth something, then I could sell it, buy more packs. Because maybe they release new packs today, maybe there is a content today. Which I really doubt that there is. But because they only increase, okay, 86, increase the packs until today when the content comes out, there is a hope that there will be some new cards. So basically what EA is doing, they're giving me 86s and 198. Okay, EA, absolutely fine. I'm not mad at all. You know, give me that 199 and I'm happy. Anything in this pack? Probably not. Probably, nah. I don't expect anything in this one. And of course, why would they give me something? And I just keep quick selling everything because I'm definitely not using any of this fodder anymore. Who even cares about the fodder? Give me something good. Give me like one huge pool. Like, yeah, that's not huge pool. Probably the 98 is the highest I will go this year. The funny thing is, like, I did pull a lot of cards, which now are 99 overall, because I did pull, like, a Team of the Season cards, some Fantasy cards, but I didn't actually get a 99 pull. And that really makes me mad, because some people are getting 99s in rerolls, and I am spending millions of coins, working the auction house, trying to make more coins, and all I get is an 86 overall. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, yay. Scam. 92. Okay, still scam. Come on, give me something good. I will not even be able to put a decent team together. When the NHL 25 will be like out, I'm definitely not quick selling anything. I will do a lot of marketing videos. I will do like a full no money spend. We will have a second account where we will do uh, a lot of basically all the money spend kind of YouTube series because my goal for NHL 25 is to have fully two accounts. One where I'm spending all my time, I'm grinding every single mode, trying to go for after every single reward. And another one where I will play only a few games each week and spend money and at the end of the year i want to see which team will actually be better because one of the most common things you hear is like heart is paid to win and i'm a little bit sick of it yes a lot of people spend money in the game including myself but i don't think heart is actually paid to win i personally think that you can easily have a no money spent team if you just spend some time and i know time is not free okay we probably can open a few more let's go with my maybe three more i don't know how many packs did i open i should probably count Probably I should count. Yay, X Factor. Let's open it straight away and act surprised. Yes, Brendan Point. I tried. It's actually not a bad card, but I did try to act surprised. And do we have something here? Yes, we have a 96 goalie. All of Kolzig. Mm, okay, I will take him. Uh, probably goes for around 14k because I think every single card now goes for around 14k. I think I can open maybe, let's say, five more. Or maybe no. Let's go with five more, maybe. So including this one. So this and four more. Bang. Give me something good. Also, I was being told that I have to say bang when I'm opening packs. And if I say that, my pack luck will be much better. So next pack, I will say bang and see if I can get the purple pool. Decent purple pool. Oh my God. Let's open the pack and it's bang. Yeah, no, we tried. 88. Faceless Matthew. Nice. Okay. I like that they're giving us these faceless cards as well. I really hope we will not see them in NHL 25. From one side, like, I understand the card art really don't matter, but if I'm pulling something in a pack, I want it to be, like, 
visually like i don't know good looking but it is what it is i guess 98 so far that's the highest pull in all the pack openings i'm doing we can get a 99 i do believe by the end of this year i will get a 99 probably i just need to shut up because these packs are scam at this point they should just be giving us a 99s left and right i said this multiple times in every single video pretty much i'm recording i don't understand why it's so hard just not to like give us a good pulls what exactly will it change a few weeks before the new game comes out? Let us at least have some fun ripping packs. You know how we had the July 19 when all the packs were really juiced? 89, let's go. Then at least we was having fun. People could do random different like videos. You could just basically stream, rip the packs, talk to you guys. And now all we have left is the same mode still. Okay, let's open one more. This will be the last one because... Just in case they release some content and there are some decent cards, I want to keep myself at least 1 million coins. Sorry, half million coins because I just spent half million coins. And buy the player because maybe they give us like a good female card. I don't know. Something. And instead of that, we get Slavkovsky. 290s. Look at me. Okay, I know I said that that was the last one, but you know what? This is the last one. We have to give it another go. Please. Let's try. This pack have to give me a 99. Probably not, will not give me even a one purple because we did get 290 overall cards in the previous one. And from what I experienced is if you get a purple in the pack before, you're not getting it again. And that's exactly what happened. So half million coins, that's pretty much what I spent. I think even a little bit more than half million coins. I think I also opened more than 20 packs and you saw what I pulled. So the best pulls were 86, 86, 83, Power Up Icon, Team Latvia Jersey, which probably will go for something, uh, Team Builder, Power Up Collectible, 86, 86, Logo, 98, that's our highest pull. Then we get an 86, an 89, 86, 92, 94, 77, X Factor, 96, 88, 89, 90, 90, and that's it. Just out of interest, I wanna know how much is this guy going for? Probably nothing. There is not a single one in the auction house. His max price is 300k? Let's give it a go, maybe someone buys him. If not, then we are just screwed. Okay, another video without me pulling a 99 overall car, but we did pull the 98, which was actually a very decent card. If I will not sell him, I may actually go and try him this week in James, because the card on the paper looked really good. Like I said, deep dive video coming out tomorrow, there will be a separate video where I'm breaking it all down and explaining everything new in NHL 25 gameplay, so make sure you check that out. And as always, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Thanks for all the support this summer. It was a very fun ride with everything what EA did, but somehow we survived. And I really love you all. Thank you guys and have a good one. See you on the ice.